You know, we, we do a lot of online video placement. Um, I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, uh, I don't really, um, you know, I, I think consumers move pretty seamlessly these days from, you know, kind of, you know, what you might sort of, you know, laughably previously called television advertising to kind of like, you know, online uh, usage. So, you know, we do an awful lot of that stuff. So if you look, for example, at some um, recent examples of that, um, you know, about 18 months ago, we were doing the Dove Sketches campaign, um, you know, which, uh, you know, ran on, you know, online video. I mean, it ran on YouTube, you know, it was promoted through Facebook, through Twitter. And, um, you know, that became the most shared piece of commercial content in history. So, you know, I mean, we're very comfortable in that world. And, um, you know, in, in terms of like doing it, measuring it, you know, feeling that we have the most out of it. So it's a very, um, it's a very kind of like uh, integrated part of what we do in terms of mass communications these days. I mean, frankly, you know, it, it would be fairly surprising with a campaign if we didn't do some element of online video. So, you know, it's a, it's a very much part of what we do today. I mean, quite honestly, in terms of programmatic, I mean, I think we're getting towards a point where all media will be bought programmatically before very long. And, uh, you know, that's increasingly the world that we're moving to. And you know the world that we're going to very in the very near future is one where I think all kinds of executional micro decision based buying is traded programmatically, uh, you know, and that whole process will be automated in the very near future. So you know, human decision making is going to kind of get ele elevated to you know managing sort of stacks for clients, which include all kinds of you know, data feed and, you know, other agencies and, uh, you know, offline media feeding into those areas. So, I mean, I, I, I see it as being a, a short step from where we are for all media to be traded programmatically, quite honestly. So in terms of all the media reviews at the moment that are going on, I mean, I think right now it favours having a fairly cool head, quite honestly, because you know, some agencies have got sort of like half of their billing up for review at the moment because you've got some, I mean, this is unparalleled in terms of living memory, just so much business in review at the same time. So, you know, our approach at PhD is to focus on our existing clients, you know, focus on retaining and growing relationships that we already have. Uh, you know, I think there's a bit of a temptation to think that you're a, you know, you're in a candy store and there's all sorts of things you might be able to sort of like go after. but. You know, I mean, we've been building relationships with large global clients like Unilever, like Ferrero, like SC Johnson, um, GSK, Volkswagen Group over a prolonged period of time. And yeah, you know, a number of those clients are, you know, some of those, not all, some of those clients are in review at the moment. And, um, you know, I think you've got to keep a cool head and you've got to stick to the strategy that you've got. And, and you've got to um, focus on the clients that you know and that you're building relationships with. And if you're grown relationships with existing clients in many ways that's the best kind of growth that you can have really because it says that they like what you're doing they know you and they, they you know they feel happy to buy from you so that's where our real focus is but yeah it's a it's an interesting time right now